Hello and welcome to Global America Financial's Medicare Resource Manual. Today we'll be talking about the summary of benefits. My name is Rodolfo Sierra and I'm an insurance agent. Today's presentation is educational. There'll be no sales materials or talking about any specific plans. It's just for general knowledge. Let's go into the details. What is a summary of benefits? Summary of benefits gives you a summary of what each plan covers and what a client pays. Tips to compare Medicare choices. First off, go to medicare.gov, compare all types of plans, or you can talk to an insurance agent who is qualified to discuss these types of programs with you. Monthly plan premiums. Some of these plans have monthly premiums, some do not just depends on what is available in your specific market. So review any monthly premiums if applicable. There will be a Medicare Part B premium. That will be $148.50 for the most people. There are higher premiums depending on income. But for the most part, you'll see $148.50 for your Medicare Part B. And Medicare benefits are not lost when you join a Medicare Advantage plan, which is a Part C plan. What about annual medical deductibles? Well, the majority of Medicare Advantage plans do not have medical deductibles. Remember, a deductible is the amount, if, look up, if applicable, that the insured must pay before the insurance company will pay any benefits. And Part D deductible, which is the prescription drug coverage, will be separate from any other medical deductibles. Maximum out-of-pocket, or sometimes report said as MOOP. Maximum out-of-pocket is the amount of money you will spend for healthcare annually. It can be explained as a protection to members against spending too much. And after you pay your maximum out-of-pocket, you must continue to pay for any type of routine services. Your Part B drugs, prescriptions administered in doctor's offices are part of your maximum out-of-pocket or MOOP, such as chemotherapy medications, any types of infusions or pain injections. Remember, any Part D, which is your prescription drug coverage costs, will have separate limits. So let's go into the details of what are the summary of benefits. Each plan will define these as the same. It just depends on how much is covered. So each company will have a separate price, copay, coinsurance based on the plan that's offered. But for the most part, it will cover the same things. So for example, what is defined as inpatient hospital coverage? Well, that's hospitalization for more than 24 hours. That means you're in the hospital for more than a day. No limit to number of days covered per stay. Depending on your plan, make sure that you understand how much you can expect to pay in an event of a hospital stay by giving some examples. Outpatient surgery. Ambulatory surgical centers or like clinics outside the hospital, for example, any type of cataract surgery at a doctor's office will be considered an outpatient surgery. So outpatient services and observations is usually day surgery performed in a hospital. So same day surgeries like your cataracts, your mole removal, any type of gallbladder. Usually those require prior authorization and usually there's a copay that will apply. Doctor visits. Usually these are seen in primary care physicians offices or PCPs like a family practice office or an internal medicine, usually there's a $0 copay depending on the plan. If you're looking at or being presented an HMO or PPO plan, make sure your doctor is in network. Remember, if you're being presented an HMO plan, you must select the PCP because the PCP serves as the role of administering care and referrals. And you may be able to change your PCP at any point in time of the year with your plan. So what's an example of a doctor office visit? That could be like going to see a specialist, a cardiologist, dermatologist, neurologist, ophthalmologist, gynecologist, oncologist, endocrinologist, allergist, or any orthopedic, or any other type of specialist that's out there. Those copays will vary on average, 25 to $45, could be more, could be less, depending on the plan. But remember, if you're being presented an HMO or PPO plan, confirm that all specialists are in the network to ensure that you have the right plan for you. 
Another portion of summary benefits is preventative care. Preventative care is usually annual checkups, like your bone mass measurements, your prostate exam, colorectal cancer screening, any global miss examinations. There's a whole list of preventative services and care. So when you look at your plans, make sure you're looking at those because typically those are $0 copays for any type of preventative screenings. It's a really good deal. Emergency care. So emergency care is defined as a life-threatening situation. Usually there's copays that apply to these. And these are, if you're admitted to a hospital within 24 hours, usually no copay applies because now you become an inpatient care and that's a different type of deductible. Uh, networks typically don't apply in emergency care situations and some carriers even offer worldwide coverage depending on your plan. So if you're a traveler, make sure you have the worldwide coverage just in case. Now separate from emergency care is urgently needed services. It's like an urgent care clinic, also known as a day or night clinic. Normally, these are going to be out of service areas. And if this usually comes from a sudden illness or injury that is not a medical emergency, doesn't require an ER visit, just an urgent care location. And usually there are copays that apply to these. Another part of the summary benefits is diagnostic tests, x-rays, lab and radiology services. These usually require prior authorization, which means your PCP must tell you you need to go get an X-ray or an MRI and get prior authorization. So again, these are like MRIs, radiology diagnostics, and CT scans, like computed tomography diagnostics, therapeutic radiology, such as radiation for treatment for cancer. And these have a, usually have a copay, $0 for Medicare covered labs and X-rays, but there could be other services that may charge more you just got to check the plan to make sure what is and what is not covered. Uh, some plans offer hearing services. So Medicare covers hearing exams at $0 copay once every three years or two years, depending on your specific plan. You will probably need a prior authorization for something like this. You will probably need to use a preferred provider network to make sure you're getting the proper discounts. Usually there's some type of copay for any devices that that's applied um, and there are some limits. So again, something you have to compare when you're looking at different programs and, and products to make sure it's the right plan for you. Dental services is provided in some of these plans as well, but not all. Uh, there are limits that they apply to this. There are co-pays and co-insurance. There are usually provider networks that pro, uh, for the dental vendors used by the companies. Some companies pay a fixed amount of benefit for some comprehensive dental services. So again, check your plan to make sure that's offered and what the limits are. Also some vision services are provided, like an ophthalmologist, which is a doctor, which is the disease of the eye covered by the medical portion of insurance. And there's an optometrist, which is a specialist for eyeglasses covered with your vision benefits. So different types of vision services there, depending on what you need. You will need prior authorization and usually a copay will be required. Again, there's a provider network depending on the vendor used by the insurance company and depending on the plan could be a yearly or every two year benefit period. Mental health services for the inpatient visits. We'll talk about outpatient next, but for inpatient visits, it's any hospitalization for any type of mental condition, whether that be depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's and dementia are not included in this type of plan. That's going to be more for outpatient. Uh, normally a hospital copay will apply since it is an inpatient visit and it's covered for up to 90 days for an inpatient visit up to 190 in a lifetime. Now for the outpatient mental health services that's where they provide individual and group therapy visits. That's where the depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, AA meetings, counselor visits all are provided in this type of pro, uh, summary benefits and there is a copay that can apply depending on the plan. Another benefit that's provided is skilled nursing facilities. And usually you get up to 100 days covered in a skilled nursing facility. And this is just a temporary stay at a center with around the clock nursing care. So typically this is seen when you recover after surgeries. Not necessarily a doctor that's needed, but more of around the clock care with the nurse. And for something like this, there will be prior authorizations required and co-pays as well. Another benefit is rehabilitation services. Uh, this will require prior authorization. 
And this is typically seen after like a cardiac rehab, pulmonary rehab, occupational, physical, or speech therapy. Normally, we see this after a stroke, heart attack, or any type of hip or knee replacements. And there will be a copay per visit at these outpatients. Again, it just depends on the plan you have as to how much that copay will be. Some companies offer ambulance services. Uh, typically, a network's not required. Uh, they offer ground and air services depending on the severity of the situation. And typically, there'll be a copay per trip. So again, be mindful of what that fee is because it could be expensive. Transportation. Some companies provide this benefit, some don't. So this is something that's needed or required for your type of care. Make sure it's included in your plan. Uh, usually there are limits that apply to this. Authorization may be required when dis distances exceed the limit of 60 miles. Uh, usually this is designed for one-way trip to doctor appointments and you have to call usually within 72 hours in advance to get your appointments. But it's a benefit or service that's provided by some, but not all insurance company when it comes to these benefits. Another benefit is foot care, podiatry services, and these are foot specialists. So these help prevent any type of infections, potential amputations for diabetics. Uh, usually, again, there's a provider network and a specialist copay will apply to this type of benefit. Another benefit is medical equipment and or supplies. This is more like durable medical equipment, like wheelchairs, oxygen tanks, and stuff like that. Uh, prosthetic devices, any type of artificial limbs, wigs, mastectomy items. Uh, these durable medical equipment facilities must be in network. Uh, most plans will cover only the Medicare covered 80%, and usually you as a client will have to pay 20% uh, responsible for that. Uh, each plan is different. For the most part, that's what you're going to see. There are some diabetic supplies and services that are provided. Usually preferred brands are covered at a $0 copay. Uh, these are examples of something like this is diabetes self-monitoring supplies like lancelets, uh, test strips, any glucose meters, therapeutic shoes. Again, copays may apply and there may be some prior authorization with this as well. So again, check for your plan to see if this is covered and how much is covered. Another benefit you'll see with your Medicare plans is wellness. That can be a basic gym membership. Uh, you usually have to stay in network for those. Most common vendors for this is Silver and Fit and Silver Sneakers, uh, but this is not available with all plans. Only some plans offer this. So if this is something that's important to you and, and you want to do this, make sure this benefit's included in your plan. Another benefit is 24-hour nurse line care. Uh, these are typically registered nurses providing telephonic access for customers who request health and medical information. Again, not something that's available for all plans. We're seeing this becoming more and more offered by the insurance companies. So make sure you take advantage of these types of nurse lines to help and get the care that you need potentially after hours. Uh, chiropractic care, uh, limited but offered for most companies and products. Uh, usually there is a copay that applies and this only usually covers manual manipulation of the spine, like either the dislocation or misalignment. This is not to go get your your weekly fix from your chiropractor. So it is a limited type of benefit, but it is a benefit that is offered. Home health care. Uh, this is med with any um, Medicare covered service. This is provided. Home health care facility must be in network. Uh, it is prior authorization for something like this. An example, this is licensed nursing care at home. So this is something that is offered as a benefit. Hospice. This provides care to patients with life expectancy of six months or less. Uh, patient care includes any type of pain management, emotional, spiritual, psychological support, and nursing care. Hospice is covered by original Medicare. So the insurance companies will not offer this. We have to rely on original Medicare to provide this type of service for hospice. Outpatient substance abuse. This is offered as well as a benefit. This is usually seen as therapy with a counselor. It can be individual or group, depending on your need. Uh, there is drug, alcohol, and prescription abuse provided. And there is usually a copay of car insurance, uh, more for the individual, but less for the group, since you get that one-on-one -on -one care versus a group setting. 
but nonetheless, it's something that can be offered if that exists. Some companies provide some over-the-counter benefits. There are some limits to that, uh, but at least it's something they provide for you. Uh, these usually come either monthly or quarterly allowance, depending on the plan, and credits may expire or roll over. Again, it varies by plan. So if it's something that you use, it could be something worth exploring based on the plan that's, that's offered. Renal dialysis. So usually with this, there's prior authorization, given the severity of the disease. Uh, there's a copay for dialysis, and once you're on a plan, you know, they will not be able to drop you if you go on dialysis. And there may be some availability out of network if you are traveling. Again, if this is the disease that you have, make sure the plan that you, that you get covers this type of benefit. Medicare Part B drugs. So Medicare Part B drugs are only offered with Medicare Part B. These are drugs administered by a doctor's office and drugs used with durable medical equipment. Uh, there will be a copay for these types of prescription drug coverage, but these are gonna be more injectable type drugs like your chemotherapy, osteoporosis, antigens, those types of drugs, not the pill. The pill drugs are covered by Part D. Those are more the prescription drugs. Part B is the injectables. Big difference when it comes to these drugs. So make sure whatever drugs are being administered to you are provided in the right coverage, whether it's Part B or Part D. And to finalize the summary of benefits, something that you'll see whenever you're reviewing a summary of benefits with, with an insurance agent is you'll see a number one or a number two next to some of these benefits that we reviewed today. A number one is means that you need a referral. That means the doctor, your PCP, uh, is required to give you a referral to go see that that other doctor and if you see number two that means you need prior authorization so you need to get approval from your doctor to go see that other doctor now of course if you're getting the right level of care that should not be a problem but it's something to be aware of it's not like you can just go choose see whatever doctor you want unless you're in a proper plan that allows you to do that like a ppo or a med sub plan that gives you that flexibility Again, it just varies by carrier. Uh, if that's important to you to have the freedom, then look at you know, a certain type of plan. If you want your care to be administered by a primary care physician, you can go down that route as well. So this is super important to note whenever you're visiting with any type of insurance agent or just reviewing it for yourself. Make sure you review the summary of benefits every time before you make any decision to make sure that you're getting the quality of care that you deserve and that you need because everybody's different. Just because one company is good and provides a great product doesn't mean it's the right product for you in your specific situation. The only way to know that is by reviewing the summary of benefits. So take the time to review it with, by yourself, also with an insurance agent, to make sure that everything is covered the right way for your specific situation. So I want to thank you for watching our video today and learning more about the summary benefits when it comes to Medicare. My name is Rodolfo Sierra, an insurance agent. Thank you and have a great day.